Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about CSI Net Life Science Unit 11. That is CSI Net Life Science Evolutionary Biology. So in CSI Net Life Science Unit 11, what is the syllabus and what are the topics which are important, the subtopics which are important, we are going to discuss all about it in this particular lecture. I'm going to tell you the five most important topics that you need to read from Unit 11 in order to make the preparation faster. So let's begin to talk about the syllabus first. So CSI Net Unit 11 or CSI Net Evolutionary Biology Topic List. So the syllabus is kept as it is from CSI Net website. Now in this syllabus, I placed the color coding of green means most important, yellow means moderately important and red means least important topics. So with this emergence of evolutionary thoughts, including the Lamarckism, Darwinism, origin, uh, the concept of variation, adaptation, struggle, fitness, natural selection, all these things that play a role in the process of evolution is very, very important. Many questions are asked from this topic and the evolutionary synthesis, the theory behind it is also important. Next is origin of cell and multicellular organisms, uh, organisms in evolution. Now, there was a time when they ask a lot of questions from Uri Miller experiment. They ask a lot of questions from uh, the abiogenesis, biogenesis theory. But now uh, for last three, four CSI net examinations, they're not asking many questions from this topic anymore. So you put it as a red color. Paleontology and evolutionary history, that is the evolution time scale, periods, epoch, major events in the time scale, including the organism, the growth of the organism, and also the extinction. All of them are equally important and that belong to yellow category. Molecular evolution, concept of natural evolution, as well as, you know, the molecular tools for phylogeny classification and everything that is in place. The, this is not that important. That they don't ask direct question from that. The mechanism is very important. The mechanism of molecular genetics is very important. And that is population genetics. So population genetics means Hardy-Weinberg principle. That is a, another most important part from unit 11 along with the emergence of evolutionary thoughts. Okay. So the gene pool concept, uh, the allele frequency, gene frequency, changes of the allele frequency in a uh, population is very important. The concept of fitness and molecular fitness, how do we calculate, how do we measure, all these things are really important. Brain behavior and evolution is another very important concept here. We have behavioral part that is in case of animal uh, kingdom, kin selection, reciprocal altruism, both are equally important. Apart from that, uh, the biological clocks, uh, Zitzberg, uh, as well as we have uh, the aggressive behavior, habitat selection, all the foraging behavior. So all these things, the mating systems, territoriality, among them, particularly the the biogeographical, uh, the biological clock is very important. Uh, circadian rhythm is very important. So all these six different topic list in unit 11, you see the evolution, evolution thought, particularly the difference between the gradualism and punctuated equilibrium, that part, natural selection types, the mechanisms uh, and involvement of population genetics is very important and brain and behavior part is also very important. So before going into the next part of our discussion, there is five most important topics from this unit. Let me tell you one simple idea. If you enjoy this video, if you like this kind of knowledge, this kind of information, like who someone studies uh, the complete syllabus and give you a clear gist of that syllabus and topic so that you can prepare in the less number of uh, months, in the less amount of time to cover most of the syllabus, then you can think of joining Shomu's Biology Online Coaching Program. We have all this tailored for you. You can get this ready-made available at your disposal and uh, you can get our study material. You can still get some benefit from it. So we have different kind of packages depending upon your requirement, also depending upon uh, the affordability. So you can try out any of our service, either study material or our coaching services. If you want to get this, the link here in, this, in the description. And also we have this number that is popping in this uh, side. This is our universal number. You can contact this number, WhatsApp this number. The admission for the coaching process will continue. And uh, uh, if if obviously we take the students from the admission time frame which is two to two, two and a half months and beyond that time we don't take anyone in the middle so if the admission is going on we'll definitely cater you for that session or i'll tell you to wait for the next session so you can try this out and i believe that nobody is offering two years validity with that much of price point that we are offering so you're going to get everything for two years and two years means four net examinations so it will obviously increase your chance to qualify CSI net examination even when you are not in touch with us. So, what are you waiting for? If you wish to join, you can always join in here. 
Now let's move on to the question pattern type and I can tell you is that uh, the analytical question and the memory based question that you need to attain an answer from unit 11 are almost equal and uh, part B part C questions are almost equal. So there is no biasedness towards part C or part B question or analytical or memory based questions because the questions are mix and match of analytical and memory based. So they have equal distribution, almost very equal distributions. Now let's move on to the final tip for you. The five most uh, important topics from CSINET Life Science Unit 11 Evolutionary Biology. And these are the five topics for you, the must read topics. You should not leave any of this topic. Evolution mechanism, important. Second one, brain behavior evolution, important. Third, emergence of evolutionary thought, evolutionary history. So now one thing that is uh, not mentioned here, evolutionary mechanism and obviously Next, I'll put the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, that is population genetics, which is not mentioned. So evolution mechanism, then population genetics. Third will be brain behavior and evolution. Fourth, emergence of evolutionary thought. Now, the third one is not that important. The evolutionary history, the time scale is very, very important. So we'll keep these five important topics in your mind and prepare these five topics. Then you'll be ready for unit 11. Now, many of the students are not that quite uh, trained for unit 11. If you are from zoology background, you are trained for unit 11. You have read it. But from biochemistry, molecular biology, biotechnology, microbiology field, they are not trained in uh, unit 11 on evolutionary biology topics. So for you, I am particularly mentioning that you can prepare that without uh, any doubt, without an issue. If you want to prepare, prepare these topics. You can cover that unit 11 in very less time. So I believe this video helps you out. If you get any benefit from the video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you.